It's live from last week, episode 35. Let's go! Welcome here, my fellow Cheerwalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. A quick shameless plug before we go on, be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. We're just chilling at this mini carnival called Dino Park with some animatronic dinosaurs over near Broadwood Mall in Scarborough. And just check out this mini video of the things we are up to today here at Dino Park. So after hanging out with dinosaurs with the nephew and visiting the famous Pacific Mall earlier for dinner, snacks, and bubble tea for the first time in several years, I'm finally back at home enjoying some relaxing time after a very busy day. Which started off by waking up at 6am to do a 5 kilometer run for the first time since the start of the pandemic. And to make it more challenging, I brought my boxing punching reaction trainer headband with me. And this is how it went. So after that run, I realized that I'm both out of shape and B, I'm dead tired, man. I forgot how hard running is. <sighs> also, do you guys remember this segment from last week's episode? So Jasmine, hope you enjoy the shout out and be prepared to get a delivery tomorrow morning by yours truly. Well, while picking up the fiance this morning from work, I turned on my Uber delivery sign and made good on that delivery. Hi. Hi there, I have a delivery for Jasmine. Oh, hi, yes. <laughs> nice to meet you, by the way. Nice to meet and you. Thank you so much. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this is your seat and okay, the bag. Yes. Don't forget the gift bag. <laughs> I'll give a tip. <laughs> thank you so much. You're Jasmine. welcome. Anyways, now it's time for some birthday greetings for today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to Joanna. Happy birthday, Joanna. I'm remembering those much music video dances that we had back in the day and learning a new dance move from you called the log on. Anyways, Joanna, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. Next birthday greeting I have is for one of my coworkers, Kennedy. Happy birthday, Kennedy. I just want to let you know that I enjoy my quick mini carpools with you as well as seeing you grow so fast in your nursing career. Anyways, Kennedy, hope you too are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. So, after having a very busy day yesterday, today is pretty much just a rest day, just editing video and doing a quick workout on the bike before I go in for my first of my three night shifts tonight. So I'm gonna go shower up, go to work, make some money, and I'll just see you guys tomorrow. So today, after getting a pretty decent sleep after my night shift, I got back on my stationary bike to do my daily workout while using my boxing reaction headband. And I don't know about you, but my coordination with the boxing reaction headband looks like it's getting better every single day. And while I was on the bike, on my phone, I noticed a post from one of my childhood friends, Shelby, who has been affected by the disease of MS. But she's used that positive energy to do fundraisers for MS research. So what I did after my workout was go to A&W to help promote the fundraiser for MS Today. Guys, today, don't forget your team burger from A&W. Two dollars from every burger goes towards uh, MS fundraising. So Shelby, here's a bite of my Beyond Meat teen burger for you in honor of the great work that you've done for MS fundraising. And speaking of shoutouts, I have a birthday greeting for you guys today. 
Just want to wish a happy birthday to Austin. Happy birthday, Austin. I remember back when we were both living at Wysik and I'd see you at the gym. And you introducing me to HIIT, High Intensity Interval Training, which you inspire me to do on the odd occasion when I do my workouts. Anyways, Austin, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. But before I go in for my second of my three night shifts tonight, I just want to commemorate what it is today. It's been exactly three years since I had my greatest athletic achievement. Doing the full Ironman race up at Mont Tremblant. Swimming 3.8 kilometers, biking 180 kilometers, then running a full marathon, 42.2 kilometers, and then finishing in style. Just wanted to thank all my fans that accompanied me on that trip. My mom and dad, my sister, my fiance, my Tito Jan, Jersey, and my Tita Chi for cheering on me from afar. So yeah, just wanted to say thank you once again and happy third anniversary to me and my team. So last night as I was coming to work before I started my night shift, I ran into a couple of coworkers that I haven't seen in a while, including Joe, who actually inspired the idea of doing the mini carpool segments. Before, when we were working together, she would give me rides every so often to and from work. As well as Nej, who I actually mini carpooled last week. And my current coworker, Melissa. The one that, if you can remember a couple weeks ago, made us some breakfast after night shift before we went to our friend's wedding in Hamilton. But yeah, on to today, where I did yet another bike workout after my night shift. And I'm slowly learning that this boxing headband that I bought a couple weeks back is actually one of my favorite things to use while working out. But anyways, before I go in for my third of my three night shifts tonight, I just have a birthday greeting for Gabby. Happy birthday, Gabby. I remember back years ago when I was living in Wysik and we would go to Moss Park to play tennis with each other every so often. Anyways, Gabby, hope you're still playing tennis. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. And I'm hoping that you have a happy birthday. So after coming off night shift this morning, I decided to give my buddy, Tyler, my co-worker, another mini carpool ride. Yo, yet another mini carpool with I mean, Tyler. Number four. <laughs> number four. Number four and counted. <laughs> and counted. I gotta have tallies. Yeah, man. And after just sleeping an hour and a half after my night shift, I decided to get on the bike and do another bike workout until I was sweating buckets while using that boxing headband that I dearly love. And in case you guys didn't know, I'm at York University at York Lions Stadium catching a Canadian Championship soccer match featuring York United FC and my boy Antoine's team, Masters Football Academy, with the winner advancing and potentially facing MLS side Toronto FC. So yeah, let's check out how this match went. Unfortunately, my boy's team didn't get the result that we wanted, but you know, there's always next time. And yeah, AP, rest and recover well, so that next time I come back here, I'll be able to see you play live. But yo guys, check it out. I ran to somebody that I haven't seen in such a long time. Yo, it's... Bobo! How you doing everybody? Got caught by Jay Walker POV. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel below. I see you guys soon. I'm joining along. Yo, Baba, what do you know about that, Andrew Belonis? <laughs> and after randomly running into that special guest over at the parking lot at York University, I took the highway past the airport watching this airplane fly so low for its landing. On my way here to Saga to visit the fiance's family 
for the night. But before we wrap it up for the day, we have a birthday greeting for Nadline. Happy birthday, Nadline. I remember going to Europe with you and the youth group back in 2011 for World Youth Day. As well as taking a picture with the Filipino chocolate bars. Anyways, Nadline, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. So today, I spent the whole day in Saga, and I drove the fiancé to a local nail salon to get her nails done. But after realizing it would take more than an hour for her appointment to be finished, I decided to go to a local Planet Fitness to get a quick workout done. So, after warming up on the stationary bike, I proceeded to do the Planet Fitness 30-minute workout circuit. And if you're looking for a quick glimpse of what this looks like, let me show it to you guys now. So after I finished that quick workout, I Uber drove back to see the fiance and picked her up at this nail salon. And boy, was she ever excited to show off her nails to me. Look at the amazing job they did on her nails. Did I also mention that we also went for a Costco run? Which actually was my first time there since the pandemic had started. And I forgot just how easy it is to fill up your cart. But yeah, anyways, before I lay my head down for the night, I have a birthday greeting, and this one is for Joey. Happy birthday, Joey. A former coworker of mine who is always a pleasure to work with. And I'm remembering a couple years ago when I went with you and Joe and Bilas to La Cantina, and we tried their Mexican food there, as well as the different tequilas that they had on stock. Anyways, Joey, I do miss working with you, but I'm hoping you're staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a happy birthday. So after a couple of days spent in Saga, I'm finally back home here in Scarborough, where I was able to catch up with the family over FaceTime, get yet another bike workout in, and catch the beautiful sunset in Toronto over the horizon. But anyways, something that caught my attention earlier was that later this month, the city of Toronto is going to demolish a couple of ramps off of the Gardner Expressway which, strangely enough, is a little bit sentimental to me, mainly because these are the ramps that I would take going to the beach when coming from the West End. And now, for the next couple of years, until 2024, it will be full of construction because of the Gardner Expressway Rehabilitation Project. So, in honor of my last time driving through this area, I've decided to do a quick time lapse for you guys of the beautiful drive that I've been doing for so many years. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that time lapse of the many travels that we've had in that area. But anyways, we've come up to the end of this episode. So if you've enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.